what happened in that situation. And so we need to start helping people heal from broken relationships. Because when something is broken, there's some things that you can repair. And, and those of you who have, have come to me for help, know I, baby, we, we got some tools. Uh -huh. It ain't no good up under the hood of a car. I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't help you at all <laughs> up under the hood of the car. But if you want to know how to mend the relationship, come holly. I got some tools for you. Right. We will patch that thing up. We will put it back together. We will put them nuts and bolts in place and we can screw it together so that that thing will be better than ever. Right. If that's the way you want it now. Right. Mm -hmm. But then there's something. Right. That's some things, even I realize, that can't be repaired. Right. When it's broke, it's broke. Amen. And the reason why it broke to that degree is because perhaps it was never put together right in the first place. Y'all right. right. remember that? Mm -hmm. Unless the Lord yes, sir. builds the house, they labor Amen. in vain that build. Sometimes the Lord didn't build that house. Amen. I went out and laid my own foundation. Amen. Went out there pouring my own concrete. Right, man. <laughs> the worst thing I could have done, Sister Shelby, was put my hand on the concrete bag and call myself going to mix it together. I laid that shaky foundation. Just as sure as I built a house upon something that God never intended to be built on it, that house failed. Uh -huh. I couldn't fix it. That's right. That's right. You can't, when it's broke, it's broke. But when you let the Lord build it, the Lord helped you put it back together. Yes. Right. Well, see, some of us are privileged to have that, but the Lord put it together. And the Lord kept it together. And then there are those where just couldn't put the pieces back together again. Come on in the room, huh? Amen. <laughs> Amen. You sat on the wall. <laughs> just like Humpty. Your relationship had a great fall. All of your family, all of your friends couldn't put you and Humpty back. <laughs> On the wrong foundation. So we're trying to help you this morning. We ain't here to judge. We're trying to help you. We don't need the judging to God. We just want you to get it together while you're here. And so now that you have the children and it's just you and the children, baby, just be comfortable in the fact that it's just you and the children. Because what, what we've seen happen, and we tried to, we, in the, through the narrow lane, we tried to help our young ladies who made a mistake. You follow me? Who made a mistake? The, 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 the baby is not the sin. The sin was what you were doing to conceive the child. Fornication is the sin. The baby is a result of that sin for you. Only. So we try to help them see, okay, all right, you made a mistake, repent of that, and don't do it again. Take your time and raise that child and be to that child what that child needs you to be and teach them about God. That way you don't come up the next year. Right. What a no. What a no. Then the year after that, what another? Say that. Year after that, what another? Year after that, you got triplets. <laughs> Come on in the room. Now you want everybody to rally around you and help you because you can't help yourself. Right. But you see, God indicated through the book of Proverbs that because I have called. Uh -huh. And you refuse to answer. Yeah. Because I stretched out to you. Yes, sir. You would not regard me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will laugh. Yeah. In the day when your calamity comes. Yes. Yes. He said, You're going to seek me and you're going to be able to find me. Because you turned away from me during one of the most critical times in your life. So we try to help. And we want to help. But if you're going to continue to do the same thing, then you're going to get to a point beyond our ability to help you. So why don't you learn right now? It's just me and my baby. That, that
baby is your significant other. Yes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Stay off the online dating sites. Get off of that. Uh -huh. Cancel your subscription if you don't need one. <laughs> Amen. Quit looking for somebody. You got somebody. You got somebody. You got a full time responsibility. And that's all you need to be concerned about. It's just you and them. Now once you're able to do like hey God did, Get them up to the point where they got a skill, they got a job, they got something that's going to help sustain them financially, and then you hook them up with a spouse, then it's your time. Come on in the room. I know some of y'all don't like that, but I got to tell you what it is now. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and then expecting different results. You follow me? Only someone who ain't in their right mind would walk up to a locked door, turn it, discover that it's locked, and then won't open it, stand there and just keep turning. Stand there and just keep turning as if it's going to eventually open if I just keep turning. That that is insane. And some of us are in the same realm of insanity, thinking that we're going to do the same thing we've been doing that's been causing the problem, and that we're going to end up with a different result. It's not going to happen. Now it's just you and Boo Boo. And your full time responsibility is making sure that Boo Boo know who to call on. Amen. That's going to take up all your time. God bless you. I love you. I love you. That's the reason why we have our singles support group tomorrow night at 6 and single parenting tomorrow night at 7. Because we want to help you. Help the generation that's coming behind us. We've got to change the world's view of what's acceptable to our children. And show them that they are loved. Some of these children act the way they do because your attention is going somewhere else. That's all it is. That child is acting out. That child is acting up because they want the most important thing to them in life, which is your attention. That's all they want you to do is just spend some time with them. Instead of you running behind Reggie and instead of you running behind Regina, just spend some time with them. That's all they want. And the more you run behind Regina and the more you run behind Reggie, the more trouble they get into at school and then you want to beat the child half to death when all the child wants is for you to sit down, read to them, tell them how much you love them, tell them how beautiful they are, and tell them that they are the most important thing in their life besides God. That's all they need to hear. Amen. That's all they need to hear. Right, That's all they want from you. Oh. And you owe them that. Amen. Until they are up and able to get out on their own. You owe them that. Right. Amen. We all right? Amen. If you are here this morning, <laughs> realize that you have been neglectful. Your God-given responsibility, there's nothing wrong with getting right what's not right. That's right. That's the reason the angel told him, hey, go back home and start acting right. Uh -huh. And this is the same opportunity we're offering you this morning. Go on back home and start doing right by that child. Right now, repent of your sins. When we stand up, have the courage to confess the fact that you have sinned and that you are remorseful for what you have done that has been against the will of God. Allow God to cleanse you from your sins. If you're already his child, if you confess your sins and repent of your sins, according to 1 John 1, 9, if you're already his child, he'll forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. If you're not a child of God this morning, there's not but one way to become God's child. And that's through obedience to the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are uh, different ways that men say you can be, that you can be saved, but I'm not worried about what some man said. Man didn't come up with salvation. Right. God came up with salvation. Yes, God saw man was lost, and only God could tell him how to be found. Right. So God created the way to be saved, and God says you must hear his word. Romans 10, 17, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You must believe the fact that Jesus is the son of God, that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day just for you. John 8, 24, Jesus says, except ye believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. Then Jesus himself said in Luke 13, 3, you got to repent, or otherwise you're going to perish. Repentance is that change of mind. I stopped doing 